Hi guys, it's your girl Tolumi Abiola Oyediji and welcome to my candid talk series where I talk about day-to-day things that's happened to me in business or that's happening in business and I can advise you on it or share with you just with you about it. My candid talk is saying to you, don't plan it until you touch it. Don't plan it until you touch it. Don't plan it until you touch it. This is something you should live by. This is something that I live by in my day-to-day business. I've learned from it over the years and I apply it into what we do across all our branches now. Many times you have customers come to you, individuals come to you with business deals. They come to make inquiries. You guys are already in the talk. You guys are already doing numbers. Sometimes the numbers look so good. You're excited. It's like the answer to all your prayers, you know. You know, you have you're already sharing things they probably told you to bring proposals you've probably even gone for meetings you've probably chosen fabric samples together you're probably started to do major things some commitments already but guys no matter how nice it sounds no matter how good it sounds no matter how far you go don't plan for it until you touch the money guys this is candid talk and i'm telling you for real don't plan for it until you are touching the money sometimes some of us have gone to gone ahead to buy fabrics we have gone to play more tailors because the prospects seem so good you know they are talking hundred thousand face marks i'm like wow okay let me buy fabrics you're talking to vendors you're ordering things guys you want to hold on hold on until you touch that money don't make anything because it can just land you into trouble until you touch that money don't make any plans don't buy anything because you can just even put yourself into trouble it has happened to me you know many times where everything is looking good and something happens and they say oh i am so sorry won't be able to go ahead with this i am so sorry you know i mean look at the way the covid 19 pandemic has happened many people had projects in the pipeline and then the pandemic happened and then everything was truncated you know and, and all of that imagine if you were in like in the middle of a business you know during that time and you make commitment because you saw things coming through and the things now didn't come through what are you going to do of course you're going to be screwed so guys you don't want to plan for it some of us customers are making inquiries you know they have not even paid to our account we're already dreaming of the best we want to buy we're already dreaming of the latest machine we're going to buy we're already dreaming of how we're going to move into that ultra modern shop space ah girl you want to hold on make sure you touch that money until you plan for it because you'll be disappointed if you plan too early you know don't plan for it make sure you touch that money count that money and then you can really really begin to plan for it and let me even tell you something you know there are times when you even have when you would have even touched that money and you have to do a refund. There are times when that happens. I tell you the truth, I don't lie. You already have the money, everything is looking good, and they say, I'm sorry, we can't go ahead with this. You have to do a refund. If you have spent the money, what are you going to do? <laughs> so guys, you want to take it easy. When you have a business transaction going on with a client or with a customer, it's good to be excited, but don't get carried away with the excitement. Always, always do a reality check for yourself. And when you're thinking of the profit and the numbers, until the money touches your hand, don't plan for it. I tell all my managers this, until the money hits my account and I'm looking at it, I don't have that money. So I'm not going to plan for it until I see that money. So guys, this is my candy talk for today. Don't plan for it until you touch it. So I'll see you in another candy talk. Have a lovely day.